All right, here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's the Nasty One here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Plata 5 Franchise Rebuild here in Super Mega Baseball 4, year number one. Last episode for the Plata 5, we got shut out as we could not get anything going offensively against Werner Bergenberg and the Overdogs as we dropped that game 4-0 as they took us to task. Rusty Nozzle didn't pitch horribly badly. Three innings, three runs through six-plus innings, but, you know, just no offensive support. Nothing you can do about that. Uh, with moving into that, we're now 5-2 and two on the year as that ended our four-game winning streak. And now we come back home for a one-stop pit stop before heading back out on the road for another road trip. Taking on the Buzzards, both teams come in at 5-2 and two on the mound for the respective teams will be their number four pitchers. Hannah Hogsman on the mound for the Buzzards, no record, a 245 ERA and a 164 whip. And on the mound for us is going to be long reliever Rufus Sumar, 1-0 with a 180 ERA and a 1 whip. Lineup for today's game, leading off at second base is going to be locked in Kitty Kaufman. Batting second in left field, Muffin Studwick. Batting third, making her debut rookie catcher, Camilla Cuffingham, who was just signed last episode as the first roster move we made in the series. Batting fourth, locked in at third base is Beefcake McStevens. Batting fifth in center field, Willie Bacon. Batting sixth is shortstop, Charlie Lopez. Batting seventh, tense right fielder, Hera O'Wugliams. Batting eighth, tense first baseman, Scooter Sandbrick. And batting ninth is pitcher, Rufus Zumar. Lineup for the Buzzards, leading off in left field, locked in and juiced, Rolf Borgenar. Batting second, locked in first baseman, Helena Bigsby. Batting third, third baseman, Mario Mustachio. Batting fourth, tense catcher, Jacques Oftin. Batting fifth, center fielder, Thurman Colt. Batting sixth, locked in second baseman, Slope Wopity. Batting seventh, tense shortstop, Buttons Bunterson. Batting eighth, tense right fielder, Dano Yoshida. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Hannah Hogsman. Let's jump into it and have some fun as we come home for this one-stop shop at home at Colonial Plaza. Let's see how it goes. Buzzards coming in, they're defensive experts. They also have really great speed and really great contact hitting. Power and bullpen are only average at best, and their starting rotation is basically non-existent for the most part. Team I'm very familiar with, as for those of you who have stuck around since my SMB3 content, know I did a series with the Buzzards as one of my franchise rebuilds. It had some modest success. We won three titles in ten years, so, you know, not too bad. All right, let's jump into it. First time we're seeing them here in the series. Borgnar, Bigsby, and Mustachio up first against Rufus Sumar as the long reliever takes the mound. Borgnar locked in and juiced, hitting 333 with a homer. Three RBIs. He is hitting hot here to start the season. Zumar in his first start went five innings, giving up one earned run, 180 ERA and a one whip. He got the victory. Five hits given up, one homer, seven strikeouts, and a batting average against a 263. All right, let's get it on. You see with the knees in the first pitch, check swing strike, we're underway. How about down in the way? Outside off the plate, one and one. Ladder put in. Lock grounded up to second, backhanded by Kaufman. On to first, one down. Next up, first baseman Helena Bigsby. She's locked in, hitting 467. Two RBIs on the year. Decent start off the bench here for Bigsby. Curveball down and in, rip foul out of play, 0 1. Getting the start over normal first baseman Joseph Trunk. Heater away, line to center field. That is down for a base hit. Bigsby on here with a one out knock. That's going to bring up the third baseman today, Mario Mustachio, hitting only 143 here to start the year with a homer and an RBI. Bit of a slow start here for one of their better offensive weapons. No speed over at first. Fork ball down and in, taking low. Ball one. There's a down in the way. In there for a strike, one and one. Flatter in. Chased inside, blooped down the right field line. Owugliam's on the run, lays out, out of her reach, and that's going to be extra bases. It's going to be an RBI triple here for Mustachio. It's scoring all the way from first is Bigsby, 1 0 Buzzards. Next up, catcher Jacques Oftin, tense hitting 269 with four RBIs on the year. Hitting uh, 269 with four RBIs. Decent so far. He also has the new first pitch slayer trait and consistent. Replacing his RBI, uh, I believe, RBI man trade that he used to have. Peter down in the way, fouled off, 0-1. Work ball down and then, take it low, 1-1. Fighter up and away, whiffed on it, 1-2. 
Do seem ripping in. Chased it. Strike three. First punch up for Zumar. Two down in the inning. Here's center fielder Thurman Colt with Mind Gamer active. Hitting 304 with three RBIs. The ball hangs at the knees. Blasted to right center field. Hit pretty well by Colt. Off the top of the wall. Just staying in the park. It's going to be an RBI double for Thurman. It is now 2 0 Buzzards. Speedster probably could have stretched that into a triple if he felt like it, but he chose not to. That'll bring up locked in second baseman Slipopity, who you guys would be familiar with from the Heaters Shuffle Draft Rebuild. We picked him as one of our picks. Hitting 538 with a homer and eight RBIs. He's currently locked in, and Zumar is now tense. Do you see him ripping in? Foul off. 0 1. Work ball down in the way. Grounded up the middle of the short. Diving Lopez out of his reach into left center. That's a base hit. Thurman Colt's going to score easily from second on the single. 3 0 Buzzards. Buttons Bunterson up next. Shortstop is tense with Bunter activism, leading, lending into his name. Hitting Bucks 79 on the air with three RBIs. Not hitting so great. Good speed over at first, and there he goes. Fastball down and then is inside. Throw down by Cuffing. It was perfect, but she had no chance of getting whoopity. Whoopity's third steal of the season. He's three for four. Slider up and away. Checked outside. Good hold. 2-0. Two seam repping in. Inside. 3-0. Peter away. That's a strike. 3-1. Curveball inside. Misses off the plate. Ball four. First walk for Zumar. Two on, two down for right fielder Dano Yoshida. He's tense. Hitting 219 with two RBIs. This is the eight hitters already up here in the first inning. Two seamer down and in. Low ball one. Peter up and away. That's a strike. One and one. Work ball away. Fouled off the end of the bat. One and two. Slider up and in. Ground and in a hold of short. Lopez on the dive. Off his glove. It's going to be an infield single. Base is loaded now for the pitcher. Hannah Hogs win. Hitless on the season, but a good chance to break it open here in the first. Four seamer up and away. Strike called. 0 1. Two seamer down and away. Fouled off. 0 2. Double down and in. Just low. No call. 1 2. Slider in. Grounded to short. Lopez charges. Fires the first in time to end the inning, finally. But nine men come to the plate for the Buzzards. They get five hits, one walk, and score three, all without hitting a home run. Bottom one, Kaufman, Studwick, and Cuffingham do up against Hogsman, looking to answer. <laughs> Katie Kaufman leading off, second baseman locked in with that ball hitter active, hitting 581. Seven RBIs here atop the lineup as we're going to face Hannah Hogsman today. Hogsman, no record, a 245 ERA and a 164 whip. One earned run given up in her one start, going only three and two-thirds innings, giving up five hits, a walk, six strikeouts, and a batting average against a 294. First pitch heater down and in, off the plate on the cutter, ball one. Hogswin's not really a good pitcher. I mean, there's no other way to put it. She's a C minus. Curveball misses outside 2 0. But she is now actually in the spot in the pitching rotation where she should be at. And that is, she should be the number four in SB3. She's the number three pitcher as they had long reliever Bradley Bowler in the rotation. But with the addition of rookie starter Punchy Patterson, Bowler has been pushed into the bullpen and Hogswin moved down to the number four slot. Heater away, fouled off, 2-1. Of course, in SMB3, Hogsman was also 25 years old, so she was slightly developable. Here, she's been aged up to 27, making it less likely for you to keep her as a uh, developmental option. Curveball down and in, crushed down the left field line by Kaufman, hooking into the corner, just foul. Missing the foul pole by inches, 2-2. Two -two. Heater at the knees, dumped the left center field, and that is down for a base hit. There you go, Kitty, that's a good start. Studwick up, left fielder with fastball hitter active, hitting 344 with two RBIs, no homers. What's the trait behind the plate? Consistent. Oh, it, okay. Heater down in the way, outside from Hogs, one ball one. Heater up, strike called, one and one. Heater up and in, Studwick turns on it, hits a deep left center field, but he got under it. Borgenar over. 
Rolf puts it away. One down. Runner at first, one down for Cuffingham, the rookie catcher making her debut today. This is her first career at bat. Contact first righty. She was signed last episode to replace veteran Chase to bully. Pitch out on the first one, nothing doing. Change up at the knees, Cuffingham waits for it, hits it deep, left field, back to the wall. Borgnar is there, two down. Coming up next, cleanup hitter, locked in third baseman, Beefcake McStevens, the offensive captain. Hitting 5-62 with two homers and eight RBIs. Runner goes on the first pitch, curveball in there at the knees for a strike, throw down by Jacques is late. Stolen base for Kitty, she's in scoring position now. Third steal of the year, she's three for four, and that was a strike at the knees, 0-1. Heater away, fouled off the end of the bat, out of play, 0-2. Beefcake looking to fight it off here. Pitch out, nothing doing. Worried about another steal. 1-2. Pick off the second. Diving back is Kaufman. 1-2 remains the count here to be Beefcake. Heater away is grounded the second. Whoopity was there, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing after the leadoff single to the second. Borgnar, Bigsby, and Mustachio do up. Here's Ralph Borgnar. He's locked in. He started the game with a fly out his first time up. Pork ball away. Outside. Ball one. Boys him down, taking low and away, 2-0. Slider been in, strike called, 2-1. Boys him down and in, checked inside, crossed up, uh, well, <laughs> cuffing him there, off the glove, 3-1. Curve ball away, lined in the center field, that's down for a base hit. Rolf's first hit of the game, he's 1-2. for two. Next up, Bigsby, first baseman locked in, 1-for-1 one one with a single today. Pick off to first, nothing doing. Pitch out, nothing doing. Work one down and in. Pulled out of play. One and one. Bigsby was on it. Slider down, taking low. Two one. Two seam ripping away. Runner goes. Strike called. Throw down by Cuffingham is late. Easy steal for Rolf. Rolf's first of the year. He's one for one. 2-2 count here to Bigsby. Forcing her up and in. Line to third, right at McStevens for the first out. Next up, Mustachio, third baseman, has an RBI triple on the cards. He's also scored here. One for one day. Curble down on the way, chopper to short. Lopez charges. No out play at third. He'll go to first with it. Two down. Now to bring up off Dean, 0 for 1. Struck out his first time up. Still tense. Pork ball down and in, in the dirt. Good eye. Ball one. Zimmer up and away. Outside. 2 0. Slider down and away. Outside. It's 3 0. 3 0 pitch. Two seamer up and in. That's a strike. 3 1. The ball inside. Fouled off. Full count. Zimmer up. Line to left of center. Bacon on the run. Gets there, and that ends the inning. Good pitching from Rufus, bottom two. It's 3-0, Bacon, Lopez, and Owuglium is coming up. Here's Willie Bacon, center fielder sat out last game to fix his mojo, hitting 240, two RBIs on the season, outside pitch active. Willie trying to earn his way back onto the roster as I'm leaning towards getting rid of him, especially with his struggles here to start the season as that changeup's in there for the first strike. Heater up and away is fouled off late, 0-2. Heater up and in, number to short. Charting is Bunkerson, easy play for him, one down. Next up is Charlie Lopez, shortstop hitting 556, 10 RBIs on the air, and he surprised me with how well he started the year hitting. Heater down in the way, that's a strike, go one. Heater down and in line to short, right at Bunterson. two down. Base is empty for a Wugliams, right fielder's tense, off-speed hitter active, hitting 208 with three RBIs on the season. Still trying to find her footing. <clears throat> Cutter up and in, inside, ball one. Check high on the heater, 2-0. Heater away, ripped the third, but we're first actually on the hop, but Bigsby's there, and that's a 1-2-3 inning. <sighs> Unlucky there to the third, Colt, Whoopity, and Bunterson do up. Here's Thurman Colt, one for one with an RBI double today. He's also scored a run as well, two-seamer up, taken high, ball one. 
Heater inside off the plate, 2-0. Curveball ball away. Outside, 3-0. Fork ball down and in. That's a strike, 3-1. Or senior middle in. That's lined to right of center. Bacon on the run. Billy there. One down. Whoopity up next. One for one with an RBI single. Two seamer up and in on the first pitch. That's a strike. 0 1. Curveball down on the way. Grounded at the middle to short. That's a base hit. Whoopity's already stolen one base today. He's now got another chance to do it here. He's 2 for 2. Hunterson up next. Drew a walk. His first plate appearance. Pick off first, nothing doing. Four seamer up and away. Foul back, 0 1. Pitch out, runners going. Throw down by Cuffingham is good. And Whoopity is dead to rights at second. Nice heads up play there by Zumar to guess when he was going to go. Whoopity now uh, 3 for 5 on the air, 1 for 2 today on the steals. 1 1 count, 2 down in the uh, inning. Work ball down on the way. Strike at the knees. One, two. Slider pin in. Hunterson lines it to right center field, and that's going to be down for extra bases as well as it rolls all the way to the fence. Bacon gets it in quickly, but it's still going to be a two out double as Bunterson puts himself in scoring position. Putting the RBI chance on there for Dano Yoshida. One for one with a single. He is tense. Still. So Zumar. First pitch curveball down and in. Check swing strike. 0 1. Zumar quickly approaching the 60 pitch mark. He's not getting out of the third today. So that fork ball's outside. 1 and 1. Four seamer up and away. Chased it outside. 1 and 2. Two seamer up and in. Fouled off. 1 and 2. Count remains. Fork ball down and away in the dirt. Blocked. 2 2. Slider at the knees. Chopped up the middle. Wolpes dives out of his reach into center field. Bacon comes up throwing for the plate. Runner's going to try and score. Throw is cut. RBI knock for Yoshida. It's 4 0. Hogs wind up next. Grounded out with the bases loaded her first time up. This will be Zumar's last batter no matter what. Throw about the knees. Strike called. 0 1. Fork ball checked outside. 1 1. Peter down, chopper to second, Kaufman charges, takes the out at first, that ends the inning. Zumar gives up another run though, and the two out single by Yoshida, 4-0 to the bottom of the third. Sand breaks up, then Zumar, he'll be pinch hit for, and Kaufman. Horrible day for Rufus. Sand break up, tense, hitting 154 on the air. He's also really struggling to start the season. Might need to splurge some money on a first baseman here. Curveball away, strike called, 0-1. Change up away, 1-1. Peter's up, 2-1. Peter at the knees, line through the middle, and Sandbrick has a base hit. His first hit of the day, he's 1-1. for one. That's also his first at bat, so. <laughs> Zumar do up next, he's not batting today, batting 1,000 on the air, I believe he's 1-1. One for one. He is not hitting, we're pinch hitting. Coming off the bench here. I think it's too early for Sky. I want to save her. I want to save Rory as well. Um... Hmm. Let's go ahead and use Linda Hand here, the right fielder. Batting 250 on the air with an RBI. Come on, Linda. Heater up and away, taken high by Hogsman, ball one. Change up, foul back, one and one. Heater down and in, chopped up the middle to second, diving whoopity to make the stop. Goes to first in time to get Hand on the fielder's choice. One down, runner at second for Kaufman, who singled and stole a base earlier. She's one for one and locked in. Come on, Kitty. Decent speed at second. Sambrick could score on a single as that heater's in there. 0-1, unless it's hit to Borgnar. Change it to way. 1-1 one or Yoshida. Yoshida has a good arm out there and right as well. We have to hit it to center. That's the case. Change it down at the knees. Pulled foul into the corner. Way out of play as Borgnar, even though he's juiced, is not going to be running deep into the corner to make that catch. 1-2. Heater down and then taken low. Good eye. 2-2. Two, two. Heater up and away. Late on the swing. Damn. First punch out for Hogs win. Two down. Here's Studwick. 0 for 1. Heater up and away. Out of the zone. Ball 1. Change of hangs. Line to right center. That's down for a hit. 
right at Yoshida. We're going to hold as it went right to him. Runners at the corners, two down. Cuffing him up, 0 for 1 with the fly out to the warning track and left her first time up. Contact is ready, remains active for the rookie catcher. Peter up and in, that's a strike. 0 1. Good pitch from Hannah. Cut her up, taken high. Good eye, 1 1. Change, but the knees turned on by cuffing him deep down the right field line. Hooking foul. It had the home run distance. 1 2. Peter down, line at the middle of the second. Whoopity backhands, he got there. On to first in time to end the inning. Again, we strand two in scoring position. Coming in out of the bullpen here as we're down 4 nothing. It's going to be long reliever, rookie Shirley in the air. Now batting. Shirley's made one appearance on the season. Uh, she threw an inning, giving him no runs and two hits. That's it. Whip of two, ERA of zero, and no record. She's going to try and give us a couple innings here. As the gets ahead trait, first pitch curveball of Borgnars lined over second. Kaufman leaps and takes it out of the air. One down. Bigsby up next, one for two with a single today. Force him down and in. Grounder to short. Lopez will charge. He'll make the play across. In time, two down. Base is empty for Mustachio. One for two with an RBI triple today. Screwball down in the way in the first pitch. Strike called. 0 1. Two seamer up and in. Popped him up. Right center. Bacon over. 1 2 3 inning for an in the air. Good pitching, Shirley. Bottom four. It's 4 0. McStevens, Bacon, and Lopez coming up. Beef kick from Stevens leading off. 0 for 1 today with a ground out. Peter at the knees, blasted to right of center by Beefcake, hit hard on the line. That is off the wall, and that bounces away from Colt as gets past him. It's a leadoff double for Beefcake. It's first hit in uh, episode plus. Here's Willie Bacon, 0 for 1. Willie lined out his first time up. Cutter away, just hits the corner, 0 1. Peter low, 1 and 1. Good eye. Peter down, and then that's a nice pitch just on the inside corner. 1 2. Peter up an inline back at the middle. Under the diving glove of Whoopity, it's going to be an infield single as Beefcake gets the third. He had to freeze on that one. Whoopity down to neutral as he failed to make the catch. Here's Lopez, 0 for 1. Come on, Charlie, big chance. Peter down the middle, chopped through the middle, and Charlie Lopez continues to drive in runs. That's his 11th of the year. 4-1, Platypie break their scoreless streak as we're on the board. A Wugliam's up next, 0-for-1 with a ground out. And that'll do it for Hogs with a very quick hook. She only goes three-plus innings today, giving up one earned run. Both runners on base, her responsibility, though. Coming out of the bullpen is ace reliever, Max Texas. Lefty Texas is 2-0. He has a 257 ERA and a 143 whip. Two earned runs, six appearances, one save. Seven innings pitched, eight hits surrendered, two walks, six strikeouts, and a batting average against a 267. Off-speed hitter active for a Wugliam, still tense. Let's see what Texas can do. Slider down in the way, line to left field, but right at Borgnar for the first out. Good recognition there to hold. There's Sandbrick, one for one with a single, and RBI zero active here. Come on, Scooter. Texas checks the runners, heater away, strike call to the 100 on the gun. Chase the heater inside off the plate, 0-2. Slider away, hitting the hole to third. Diving was Mustachio to make the play. Throw across the first, just in time. Two down, two in scoring position, though, for the pitcher in the air who has the bat as we need her to eat a couple innings here. It's unfortunate, but it is how things work. Slider away on the first pitch, chopped to Bigsby, and we're going to strand two more runs. Oh, well. We do get one on the board, though, so at least we're not going to be shut out. To the fifth, it's 4-1. Off Dean, Colt, and Whoopity coming up. Jacques Offteen leading off. Catcher's tense. He's 0 for 2 today. Throw ball down in the way. That's a strike. 0 1. Peter down and in. Check low. 1 and 1. Two seamer up and in. That's fouled off. 1 and 2. Slider up and away. Fouled off. Just got to it. Screw ball down and in. Fouled off. Still 1 and 2. He's him down in the way. That's chopped to short. Lopez charges. Charlie makes the play. One down. Next up, Thurman Colt. One for two with an RBI double. Ball down in the way. Take it low. Ball one. 
Peter down and in. Checked inside. 2-0. Zimmer up, pulled down the right field line. That's out of play. Well, Williams gives it a look, but she ain't gonna get there. 2-1. Leader up and away. Fouled off. Still 2-2. Two two. Rebel down and away. Fouled off, out of play. 2-2. Two two. Screwball up and in. Fouled off. Still 2-2. Two two. Good battle here. Two Zimmer down in the dirt. 3-2. Forcing her up and away. Colt skies it off the end of the bat to left center. Willie Bacon over. Waiting for it. Puts it away. Two down. Slope opening up. Two for two today. Two singles, an RBI, one stolen base, one caught stealing. No longer locked in, though. Two seamer up and in on the first pitch. Chopper to first. In the air off the mound. Flips to first. In time to end the inning. Another 1 2 3 inning for Shirley. Bottom five, it's 4 to 1. We're halfway home. Need to wake up here, guys. <laughs> Kaufman, Studevick, and Cuffing him coming up. Top of the lineup looking to get it started here. Kaufman struck out last time up. She's also singled and stolen the bases. Texas stays in for his second inning. Peter's in there for a strike on the inside corner. Slider, but in, ripped down the left field line. That's a fair ball into the corner as Kaufman's going to have extra bases. Borgnard does get it in quickly, but it's still a double. Kitty in scoring position for Studwick. One for two with a single. A single will score her. For about the knees, Chopper in the hole to short. Bunterson over. No play at third. He has to go to first with it. One down. Camilla cuffing him up next. Rookie will bat left, right-handed for the first time in her career. Facing a lefty, though, she loses her trait. 0 for 2 today with two flyouts. Slider up and away, popped her up, just missed it. Bigsby in shallow right, we'll put it away, two down. And that'll put it all on Beefcake, who doubled last time up, he's one for two. He has power for his lefty active here though, and high pitch. Will Texas throw him one at the letters? Her ball low, good eye, ball one. Oh, missed that heater down the middle, that was the one, one, one. Third ball middle in, jams him to left center, and that's gonna end the inning as Colts there. Damn. Had we made contact, that's probably a one-run game to the sixth. That's 4-1. Bunterson, Yoshida, and Texas do up. Bunterson, one for one. He doubled last time up. He's also walked today. Slider down and in on the first pitch. Checked inside. Ball one. Indiers locked in after two shutdown innings. Screwball up and away. Pulled down the left field line. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Studwick there. And noodle arm activated, so it's an automatic double for Bunterson. Two for two day for him. Here's Yoshida, who's also two for two. He singled home Bunterson last time up. In the air, no longer locked in. Her ball inside, off the plate. Ball one. Two seamer up and away. Taken high. 2 0. -oh. Four seamer up and in. That's a strike. 2 1. Screw ball at the knees. That's ripped foul. 2 and 2. Slider down and in. Line at the middle of the second. Kaufman on the dive out of her reach. And that's going to be another RBI single as they'll go back to a four-run lead. Bunterson scores. Three for three day for Yoshida. It's 5-1. Texas up next. Pitcher will bat here as it's a bunting situation. Peter up. Bunt shown. Pulled back. Strike called. 0-1. Screw ball in. Bunt is dropped down back to the mound. In the air. Fires the second. Gets the lead. Runner Lopez the first. Double play. You love to see that. Good heads at play, Shirley. Here's Borgnar. One for three with a single. Screwball down and in. Inside. Ball one. He's him repping away. Pop down the left field line. Studwick on the run. In foul territory. Puts it away. Good job to get out of the inning with the double play ball. Buzzards, though, do get a fifth run on the board as uh, Ms. Yoshida drives in his second one on a single. 5-1, bottom six. Trying to answer. Willie Bacon leading off. One for two with a single. That's a pitch active here. Curveball in the inside corner, though. 0 1 is Texas in his third inning of work. Sliders inside. 1 and 1. Peter down on the way. Line to the gap right center field. That's going to be extra bases for Willie Bacon as it rolls all the way to the fence. Colt plays the carom, though, and he'll get it in. Only a double for Willie. Another runner in scoring position. Let's see if we can score him this time. 
Charlie Lopez up, one for two with an RBI single. Ace Exterminator now active against Texas. He's classified as one of the elite relievers as that slider bounces in the dirt. Ball one. Curb off and away, hit on the ground to short right at Bunterson. He'll throw across the first. One down. Bacon gets the third on the play. Next up, a Wugliams, 0 for 2, intense. Come on, Hera. Lined up to left last time up as that slider hits the knees, 0 1. Slider, but it didn't hit through the middle, and a Wugliams going to drive in a run. Her fourth RBI of the season. Scoring is Willie Bacon, it's 5 to 2. Here's Sandbrick, 1 for 2 with a single. Slider inside, dribbler to short, Bunterson to second one, Whoopity to first, double play, and Scooter Sandbrick continues to struggle. To the seventh, it's five to two, Bigsby, Mustachio, and Ofteen do up. There's Bigsby, one for three with a single, as Indier is going to keep going for her fourth inning here out of the pen. Purple down and then blasted down the right field line, Oluglium's over on the dive, nice catch, Hera, one down. Saving extra bases. Mustachio up next, one for three with an RBI triple. Boozimer up and away. That's a strike. 0 1. Boozimer down and in. Foul off. 0 2. Double down. Chopper to second. Kaufman over. Backhands. Fires the first. Two down. Next up is off Dean. 0 for 3. Her ball away on the first pitch. Foul off. 0 1. Screw ball away. Foul off. 0 2. Him down and in. Dribbler in the hold of short. Lopez over. Backhands. Fires the first. One, two, three inning for Shirley in the air. Four shutout. Well, four innings from the rookie, giving up one run. Nice job. Kept this in the game. Bottom seven. She's going to lead off. That's a pinch hitter. Then Kaufman and Studwick. Shirley in the air. Do up first. Good pitching today for her. Four solid innings, only giving up a run. We're going to turn it over here to Rory Crowds off the bench as the left fielder is going to take a shot at it. First inside pitch active, hitting 6.07 with the homer and seven RBIs. Slider up and away, that's a strike, 0-1. Peters up and away out of the zone, 1-1. One, one. Slider hangs, chopped up the middle, and that's a base hit for Rory Crowds, continuing to hit hot. Kitty up next, two for three, double and a single today. Locked in. Heater up, that's a strike, 0 1. Texas in his fourth inning of work out of the pen. Curveball up and in, taking high, ball one. Curveball hangs, popped her up. Foul territory for the catcher, off Dean, as we missed that hanger. One down. Stubbick threw up next, one through the single. Take a first pitch curveball at the knees, 0-1. Peter middle in, jammed by Stubbick to right field, but that's going to drop in for a hit. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate for the platypie here. It's coming up as Camilla Cuffingham, the rookie catcher, is 0-3. for 3. Lefty staying out there. Going to make a pinch hit here. You know what? Uh, I'm going to stick with the kill Miller. I have a good feeling about the rookie here. Peter down and in, nice pitch from Texas, 0-1. Heater up and away, late swing under it, 0-2. Heater up, line through the middle, and that's a base hit. First career single here for Cuffingham. Runner coming around third, here's the throw from Colt. Not in time, RBI single as crowd scores. First career RBI and hit, let's get that ball. Cuffingham delivers. Go ahead, run at the plate, it's Beefcake McStevens. One for three with a double today, he's locked in. And that'll do it for Max Texas as he'll leave tenths, going four and a third innings today, or three and a third. Coming out of the bullpen, long reliever, Sebastian Morrow, he's on fire. Morrow, 1-0, no, a 0 ERA, 0 85 whip. One run given up this year was unearned. Six appearances, two saves. 13 innings pitched, most out of the pen. Eight hits, three walks, 16 strikeouts. One hit batsman in a batting average against a 174. He's going to try and slam the door. <sighs> High pitch is active here for Beefcake. He loses his power versus lefty trait. Morrow's on fire. He's really feeling it here to start the year. Slider from the way, blooped off the end of the bat to left center field, sinking quickly, but Colt's going to get there for the second out as we got aggressive, and it did not work. 
Willie Bacon up next, two for three. He's doubled and singled. Outside pitch active for him here. Peter down in the way. That's a strike. Go one. Peter up and in. Turned on by Willie. Hit deep into the gap. Left center field. It's extra bases. Willie's going to drive at least one home. Second runner coming to third is going to be sent. Hole coming around third's the tying run. It's a two run double for Willie Bacon. We're tied at five. Flat up high have come all the way back. Charlie Lopez up next. One for three with a single. Driven in a run. Peter up the way, dumped to right field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Bacon around third. He'll draw the throw. Runners at the corners, two down. And in comes Harrow Wugliums. One for three with an RBI single today. Off speed hitter active. On Hera. Drove in a run last time up. Reverse splits active now for Morrow. He's down to locked in mojo. Cutter down and in. Strike called at the knees. 0 1. Cutter at the knees, ripped in the hole, base hit into right field. Owugliams drives in her second run. Platypie take the lead, it's six to five. And here's Sandbrick, one for three with a single, he's tense. Pinch hitting, it is Sky Rodriguez, the backup third baseman. Hitless on the ear, now's as good a time as any Sky. Heater up, blasted by Sky, right center field on the line, off the wall. Ricocheting away from Yoshida. One run's gonna score. It's an RBI double, seven to five. Perfect time for your first hit. And we're back to Rory Crowds. One for one with a single. We batted around. <laughs> Change up high, misses, ball one. Morrow down to neutral mojo. Slider outside, 2-0. Change of away, blasted by Rory, deep to right center field, hit pretty well. On the run, Yoshida, he'll make the catch and it finally ends the inning. But the Platypie respond with five unanswered runs as we take the lead. Rory's going to stay in the game, he's going to play first base, and he'll play left field actually. Uh, we're going to bring in out of the bullpen, Remington Sharp, that's not even a question. Sky's coming off, and Crowds is going to slot into left field as Studwick's going to move to first. Remington Sharp out of the bullpen here, making his second appearance. 0-1, a 1350 ERA and a three whip. One appearance, inning in a third, two runs given up, three hits, one walk, one homer, two strikeouts. Batting average against 429. I need two innings from you, Remington. Give me something. Peter down and away. That's a strike, 0-1. Preferably something good. Elite two-seamer up and in. That's lined in the center. That's down for a base hit. Thurman Colt delivers his third hit of the game as he's on to start the eighth. Next up, Whoopity, two for three, two singles and an RBI. Pick off the first, nothing doing. Two seam ripping in, taking high, ball one. Pitch out, runners going, throw down by Cuffingham is perfect. Nailed his ass at second, nice job. One down. Colt got caught with his pants around his ankles. His first attempt this year, he's 0 for 1. 2 0 count the whoopity. Slider at the knees. That's lined in the hole to short. Lopez dies, picks it on a hop, throw to first. Got him by a step. Nice job, Charlie. Two down. Here's Bunterson. Two for two with two doubles and a walk. We see him repping in on the first pitch. Strike called 0 1. Slider down and in. Low and inside. 1 1. Four seamer at the knees away. Chopper to first. Studwick is there. Takes it himself. It's a 1 2 3 inning for Sharp. Bottom eight. It's 7 to 5. Kaufman, Studwick, and Cuffingham do up. Let's go, guys. Here's Kaufman, 2 4, double and a single as Morrow stays in for his second inning. Cutter up his chase. Hit up the middle over the glove of Morrow, but whoopity there. Backhands on to first. One down. Studwick up next. 2 for 4, two singles today. Change of hangs at the letters, rip down the left field line into the corner, just foul, 0-1. Change up and away outside, 1-1. Change up, rip through the middle, it's a base hit. Studwick keeps it rolling, his second of the day. He's on with one down. Looking for some insurance, here's Cuffingham. Rookie single and homer, first career RBI last at bat. That was also her first career hit. Contact versus righty active, reverse splits active for Morrow though in response. Change with the knees, fouled back, 0-1, a little late. Runner goes, heater up on the pitch out, throw down by Off Dean. 
just in time. Stubbick retired. Peter up and in. Jam shot the left field. That's an easy fly ball for Borgnar. And we're going to the ninth. Cladipi up by two. Yoshida leads off. Then it's the pitcher's slot. And then the leadoff hitter. Sharp needs one more good inning. Slider down. In the dirt. Bouncing. Ball one. Forcing her up and away. Check swing strike. One and one. Slider down and in. Strike called. One and two. Blue seamer down in the way. Whiffed on it. Strike three. First punch out for Remington. One down. Morrow up next. The pitcher. Pinch hitting for him is Spitz McKinney, the outfielder. Batting 100 on the year with an RBI. Blue seamer up and away. That's a strike. Oh, one. Four seamer up and in. High. One and one. Blue seamer down and in. Rip the third. McStevens on the backhand. Makes the play. On to first. Two down. Buzzards down to their last out. It's Borgnar, who's juiced. No longer locked in. One for four with a single. Four seamer down and in. Low. Ball one. Flat up and away. Outside. 2 0. Two seamer away. Foul off. 2 1. Four seamer up and in. Ooh, almost handcuffed him. 3 1. Slider away. Chased line to first right at Studwick, and that ends the game. Remington Sharp, the two inning save. Flat up by win. Rallying from a four run deficit, we win seven to five with five unanswered runs in the seventh. Nice job. <laughs> hey, one boy, welcome in, buddy. Nice to see you again, as always. Yes, I wonder that myself as well, because I have no idea what we're going to do when they get hit with that a bunch of regression. But hey, for right now, let's just be happy, right? 7-5 <laughs> the final with a nice rally in the later innings. RBIs today for the Buzzards. They had Mustachio drive in one on a triple. Cold had one on a double. Whoopity had one on a single. Yoshida had two RBI singles. On the other side for us, RBIs today. Two for a Wugliams on two singles. Lopez an RBI single. Willie Bacon had a two-run double. Camilla Cuffingham had her first career hit, which was an RBI single. Sky Rodriguez had a pinch hit RBI double, which sealed the deal. Love to see it as always. <laughs> and your latest shit. Fair enough. <laughs> it's all right. It was a morning stream. It threw you off. <laughs> Hogs win goes three innings plus. Six hits, one earned run, given up a strikeout. She was pulled early. Texas three inning, three and a third. Six hits, three earned runs, given up. Morrow takes the loss, though. Inning in two thirds, five hits, two earned runs. He falls to one and one. Zumar only three innings today. Nine hits, four earned runs, a walk, and a strikeout. No decision. Or in, in the air, rookie four innings, gets her first career win. Two hits given up, one earned run, and Remington Sharp gets the first save of his career in season. Two innings, one hit given up, one strikeout. Not bad. Willie Bacon is the player of the game, three for four day. He doubled twice and singled, driving in two of our runs. Buttons Bunterson, two for three with a two run, two doubles, and a walk. He also scored twice. And Daniel Goshita, three for four day. He drove in two runs on two singles. Both of them were Bunterson, actually. <laughs> Not bad. We'll take the dub. We'll take the dub. Good response from the offense. Not a great response from Zumar, but I don't expect much from him as a starting pitcher. Just really shows that we still have a lot of holes on this roster, notably uh, first base. Scooter Sandbrick is not hacking it. Uh, Willie Bacon actually showed up today, so I don't need to make a move for him just yet. But Sandbrick probably needs to go. Uh, we also need a fourth starting pitcher, and we need to beef up this bullpen as well. I only have two good arms, and I just use both of them. <laughs> Looking around the league, oh no, I see some stuff. That's Speaking of regression, oh no. Rodriguez loses four power. Really? That was her one good thing, man. Come on. She's 27. She's not even a starter. Statsman in the free agent pool, okay. Four fielding, okay, whatever. Uh, Zumar, plus two accuracy, okay, not bad. Wagyu to Kobe in the free agent pool gained K neglector on a random roll. Oh, Wagyu, no. <laughs> that just means I don't feel like signing you now, bro. <laughs> Dude, why? <laughs> uh, Brent Branch in the free agent pool loses three. And Roy Crowds plus three fielding. Nice. Up to 65. Love to see that. No roster moves made, though, as uh, everybody's standing pat on that front. Let's sim up to the next one here. We're through a quarter of the season, sitting at 6-2. and two. Not a bad start. Grass Eaters get their second win as they blow out the Sandcats 5 to nothing. 
Hot corners shut out the Moon Stars 4 0. Nice pitcher's duel there. Freebooters plaking on the South Teeth, and the Freebooters take care of business. They win 9 3 as they move to 6 2 on the air as well. One game out of first. <laughs> Blowfish are going to blow out the Sirloins, winning 13 4. Wow, that wasn't even close. Overdogs and the Jacks here. Jacks rally but lose in 10 innings, 3 2 as the Overdogs hang on. Nemesis are going to win an E pitcher's duel against the Heaters, 4 3. So we hold on to a one game lead in the division over the Wide Loads and Grapplers, who do not play here in the Sim today. And that's going to break us to our next matchup against the 1 and 7 Crocodons. Man, they are off to a horrible start. Battle of the Aces, AVA versus Jovita Pulo. Ooh, this is a marquee pitching matchup right here. That's going to be a good one. All right, let's look at this. Player development, what do we got? Uh, no. Uh, no. Ooh, okay. One more game on this one. Let that build up a little bit. Lose your power versus lefty trade, Beefcake, eh? The fielding is not that valuable for me. That trade is wonderful for you. Let's not take that away. Willie Bacon, a chance to get big hack. The way you played today, Willie, makes me think you deserve that. I don't know. Be more consistent. We'll think about it. We've got two games. Kaufman, bad jumps. Nah, you're fast. We ain't doing that. That's stupid. This is the only good one, so I'm just going to buy this now and free up a spot to see what else pops up because this is bad. Like, all these other ones either suck or they're for people that don't feel like upgrading. All right, Oluglium's two contact going up to 86, two fielding to 85, two extra contact, not going to get that roll. Going for the bonus four fielding, that would be wonderful. Damn, oh well. Well, maxed out loyalty, though, is a good plus for Oluglium, so we'll take that. Now we've opened up a spot. Freebooters win the winning record, am I dreaming? Mm, probably. <laughs> but no, this is reality here. Uh, but to, to be fair, it's only been the first quarter of the season. They still have plenty of time to choke. All right, let's have a look at roster moves. What can we do at first base? Please tell me there's something we can do at first base. Peak physique, 8-4. We know what peak physique can do. He's pretty damn good. We're not going to lie. Peak physique is good. OVO, he's a backup. He should not be starting. Duder Eldorino is quality backup. Swolson, we still got a while on him. Same with Butterfinger. I would have one of these guys as my backup any day. We need to go get Peak Physique because I'm tired of looking at uh, Scooter Sambrick and being like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, I would, I'm would. i going to pay this extra .3 million. I think you've earned this one, Peak. Where are you? Where are you, Scooter? There you are. Scooter, you just ain't doing nothing, man. I'm sorry. You just you got to go, bro. I'll pay the extra million dollars. Like, we need a first baseman who can actually hit. So, let's go, Peak. I'm trying to use someone different, but he's just forcing my hand, and I need a starter, like, now. Frogo, 8-5. Maybe go one more game on him, then bring him in as a fourth starter, because this game really showed we need a fourth starting pitcher. Like, Rufus Umar should not be in the starting rotation at all, period. We could, though, get Cecil Sawyer, though. I'm not, I don't mind waiting for Cecil, because I love Rally Stopper. It's a fantastic trait. So we can wait one more game on him, too. To Kobe with K-Neglector now. You're not worth it. High eye. Mm, K Neglector scares me. Rita Raconda would be a nice addition. Still got a little bit on her. Gertie Goatman, we can wait on him. Sign Blinder, we can wait on him. Heimlich, same thing. Like these guys are all cheap. I'm not worried about any of them. Brent Branch is already regressing. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let out about it. Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> All right, so not yet on Cecil or Ball and Standos. We're going to wait one more game on both of them. I don't mind picking up either of them. Hell, I might even pick up both of them at this rate, but we'll see. Our starting pitching's actually been pretty good this year. Uh, Tubrick's pitched well. ABA's been elite, and Rusty Nozzle has been really good so far, surprisingly. So we only need one of them right now, and I'm leaning towards Cecil because I know what I can do with that man. That man right there, he's a menace if you upgrade him. All right, but yeah, that's the only roster we're making. Peak Physique's in the roster now, and this lineup we'll use next time out. It'll be Willie Bacon in center, then Studwick in left, a Wugliams in catcher, Beefcake at third. Get, why do you guys do this to me? Kaufman, go to the top of the lineup, please. Stop changing my lineup around, please. God. 
They want Rory on the bench again? Come on, guys. Like, I'm not that dumb. Put him in right. Linda, get off the roster. Crowds, you're in. All right, Rory, you can bat third. I want a Wugglian. No, Beefcake fourth. Actually, Willie batted well today. All right, Willie, you know what? You can bat third. Beefcake could be four. Uh, we'll put Peak at five. Rory at seven. Actually, no, Rory at six. Hera at seven. Charlie at eight. I like it. All right. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. Big... <laughs> Like, you bring them in to close out close games. Indeed, right? Like, surrounded on a closer is a death sentence. <laughs> That's going to do it for this episode, guys. Big win today for the Platypies. We rally back from a 5-2 deficit and 5-1 deficit at one point to win 7-5 as we take care of business against the Buzzards. Moving to 6-2 and two here through the first quarter of the year. We made another roster move today, bringing in first baseman Peak Physique as Scooter Sandberg has been sent uh, to the Shadow Realm as he's just not doing well. So next episode, we're going to be in a marquee pitcher's duel against the Crocodons as it's the Battle of the Aces AVA versus Javita Pulo. Tune in to see who's going to come out on top and if we can keep this hot momentum going in our favor. If you made it this deep, guys, thanks so much for sticking around. I appreciate the support as always. If you haven't already, hit the follow and or subscribe buttons down below here on Twitch to be notified next time I go live. And if you haven't already over on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Link to Twitch is down in the description below if you guys want to come over and watch the games live before they're posted. And also follow me over on this platform as well if you so choose. Quick shout out to one boy for tuning in here at the end of the stream. Nice chatting with you even if it was just for a little bit, buddy. And you are absolutely right. We will need a shortstop because Charlie Lopez is going to die on the field at some point. <laughs> the regression will hit Charlie out of nowhere. I know it will. But let's hold our breath and keep moving because for right now, it's fine. Uh, that's going to do it for me tonight, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, this is The Nasty One signing off. Have a wonderful day, evening, or afternoon, wherever you guys may be.